Thursday, 21st of February 2002. Today, I'm going to reproduce the journey from here, East End Road, via, well, from our sort of way, but via East End Road. It used to take at least once a week to Ilford up to 1975 to see my late grandma. We start here on East End Road and we'll see all the landmarks. Famous spot. Just read it there. Goodness me, it's difficult, but you just read it. <laughs> Thank goodness, in these days of political correctness, one or two things they can just about keep. And that over there, there's pub, the Black Boy. Nothing wrong with that, really. See if we can see the sign a bit better. Yeah. That's it, and there is a very sort of vague, illegible type thing. I can't read it. Is it somewhere? But I've no idea where. There. Tottenham Hale, just by the bus garage, where we always used to stop at the lights and saw some stop at the lights here yeah, now. where Stuart Ray used to work, etc. the building next to it which more interest is to dig that as the council. This is the Northern Forest College as it is. I'm not going to get too far away, so I can't be bothered to walk that far. Thank God for that. What I was waiting for is still here. Cars is. Martin Walker here especially to see them. This is actually the main reason I did this journey to see this wonderful ship. Usual view of Wood Street Station, but nonetheless Wood Street Station. Inside. One. No idea where the actual station is for Snaresbrook, but uh, that's a sign for it. Well done. It's actually up on there. I never even knew that. It tells the car strip. Snaresbrook Station, of course we drive on the road. You can notice it there. Up on the platform, like old British Railway. Head of me lies sneers before one stood or both, whatever it's called. Here's the bridge. As we continue our journey, this is the one stood flats going towards snares brook and one stood. Maybe fishing there today, but there are some ways in this place today. One of our final landmarks is Snaresbrook. I 
rescue survival and Ray will wants be to stay with Johnny Walker. Way to Maidstone in Kent tonight's panel includes <laughs> Ian Hislop. Leave. Yeah. More French people I can't in actually New York show you uh, Redbridge Paris. Station because of this. No, no, no more English people in New York than in London. Yeah, okay, let's move now, on. Now, when I used to come here, Lithuania did not exist. It was a province. It was an SSR. We have now reached the final point on our journey. 88 Bourne Gardens, Ilford, where my father and his parents lived from about oh, 1920, 1933 or so, when it was new. My father was there till he was married. My grandma was there till she died in 1975. 88 Bourne Gardens, Ilford, end of line. Working for... Really nice snooze before one stood or whatever it's called. Now we have to be actually on the way back now simply because uh, the old road beyond here there is no Eastern Avenue anymore. There is actually a Wanstead and Snaresbrook bypass which you go along and uh, I had to bypass that to get on here and then you've got a motorway and then a bit of Eastern Avenue I wasn't going to go beyond Redbridge Station anyway so this is really the end of the road heading back to Wanstead Flats in the background there. Uh, Robbie Russell. Just a few on the way is, back, we missed the Six Nations game Road Arica Junction, which I was hoping to go through on the way, but we can't. So overcame a dodgy start to win his second round match at the ATP tournament in Rotterdam. He went three love down in the opening set, but came through to beat Fabrice Santoro seven. Okay, another famous junction. Apparently, I dropped a biscuit and turned right instead of left. At this roundabout, I'm not going to go back on my tracks. I really can't be asked. So 